Hi and welcome back to Tales Against Humanity, our slash I don't work here lady. In today's episode. Yes I'm Chinese, but that doesn't mean I work here. I can't tell who works here and who doesn't. And she was right. You're wearing scrubs, so you're a nurse. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Yes I'm Chinese, but that doesn't mean I work here. So this story didn't happen to me, nor was I a part of it. I told some of my friends I reopened my Reddit, and my friend Annie gave me permission to share her story. So for some background. Annie is a friend of mine whom I met in college, we share classes together. She moved here from China not too long ago, and this story takes place about six months after she moved. I say moved but she's here on a temporary student green card. She's incredibly smart, hardworking and witty. Just a few of the many things I love about her. She's also a ridiculously good cook and oftentimes makes me some delicious traditional Chinese recipes. Well, while there are many things she loves about the United States, one of her biggest pet peeves is our food industry. Too much grease and not enough actual food which is why she doesn't usually eat out. Her greatest pet peeve of all is American Chinese food it should be illegal. Which I agree with, I've gotten food poisoning from Chinese takeout more times than I can count. Well in our area there's this really cute authentic Chinese restaurant, the restaurant owner immigrated from China in the late 80s with his family and brought with him all his recipes that have been in his family for years. The restaurant is very popular in our community, and he's doing very good for himself and his family. He's also super friendly and loves to chat with his customers, whom are mostly Chinese immigrants like himself. Annie loves the place because it reminds her of home, and it tastes like real food we have back at home. Well, one afternoon Annie and another friend of hers, Liv, decided to treat themselves and eat out, and on this particular afternoon the restaurant was more busy than usual. It's a small place so not a lot of seating options when it's a full house. One of the waiters asked her if she and her friend wouldn't mind splitting one of the big round tables with a family, mother, father, and their two teenage daughters. They agreed because it was a school night and the waiting time was long, didn't want to stay out later than they had to. While the waiter was showing them to their table he was called away, but told Annie and Liv to continue and seat themselves. They had been there quite often and could easily find their way, the table was also big and was the first one you saw when you walked in so it really wasn't a hassle. Now, for a bit more detail. Annie was wearing black, which were the employee colors, but she clearly was not wearing a white dressing outfit. She was wearing a cute black sundress, while her friend Liv, who is American by the way, was wearing some fancy burgundy trousers and a matching top. Both of them were clearly not employees. When they both arrived at the table and took a seat the mom, before either of them could explain the situation, exclaimed finally, we've been waiting a while to give our orders but our stupid waiter has been too busy running around. I swear he's doing it on purpose. Caught off guard and a bit shocked both Annie and Liv just kind of stared at the woman then each other. Um, I'm afraid I don't undash. We're ready to order now. I've also never heard of a waiter sitting down to take orders, it comes across very disrespectful. Annie looked at the woman even more confused and she and one of daughters spoke at the same time. Mom I don't think she works here. Ma'am, I don't work here. Nonsense look at her outfit. Are you going to take our order or what? Do you not speak English, do I need to speak Chinese? Um dash. Hugo. I want to order please. Chin Chow Ting Fu get your paper out and take our order. Honey. The husband bravely tried to intervene please stop, she clearly doesn't work here. Of course she does, she's Chinese isn't she? And she's wearing black. Take our order. The woman, sitting to the right of Liv who was sitting between her and Annie, reaches over her and snaps twice in Annie's face. Don't make me repeat myself, I'll get the owner involved. The snapping is what threw Annie over the edge. She kind of aggressively slaps the woman's hand out of her face, she continued her snapping, just because I'm Chinese doesn't mean I work here. 
My friend and I are here to eat, and don't ever do that fake sh asterisk t to anyone you may suspect is Chinese again. It's extremely offensive. Excuse me. Who do you think you are, that is assault, and I'll get you fired, or worse arrested. Now leave before I call the cops and tell the owner I'd like a word with him. I'm sure he'd love to know that one of his employees assaulted a customer. Hey crazy, my friend doesn't work here. Liv and Annie shared another look, one that clearly read this chick crazy for some hands. Yeah mom she doesn't work here. All of you shut it. You dash the woman points a stern finger at Annie as if she's about to ground her for life, get out of my sight, and get the f asterisk king owner or manager. I don't care who at this point just get someone and leave. Again ma'am, I don't work here. As Annie says this Liv gets up to find the waiter and explain the situation. When she arrives back with said waiter it's to the scene of the woman standing up leaning over Annie while loudly spitting racial slurs at her. Um excuse me. Ma'am what seems to be the problem? The question was directed at Annie but crazy mom interrupts. She refused to take our order, assaulted me, and has treated me and my family very disrespectfully. I would like to have a word with the owner. At this point the woman's husband and two daughters look extremely embarrassed and have some variation of their hand on their face looking anywhere but up. The waiter very calmly looks between the woman and Annie. Ma'am if you couldn't tell, she doesn't work here. She's a customer and I asked her to split this table with you as we don't have enough seating space at the moment. Don't play games with me boy I know for a fact that she does indeed work here. No, I can assure you she doesn't. I know all my employees. She is not one of them. During Crazy Woman's rant she failed to notice that the owner had strolled over to investigate all the commotion. Before she can say anything back the owner has a conversation with Annie in Chinese where the situation is explained. The woman finally realizes her mistake and turns pale white trying to explain herself, stammering along the way I I dash. Well you see I could have sworn dash the rest of the table explained what had happened and without missing a beat the owner kindly tells woman and her family that they must leave. Annie and Liv were moved to a more private table and they got a free meal that night. They continue to eat there till this day, I've even been myself. The woman, as far as Annie knows, hasn't shown up since. I can't tell who works here and who doesn't. And she was right. In a change of pace from the usual tales on this page, this story is about a customer who was actually correct in her statement and was able to laugh at the situation. Over the weekend I went to a very popular renaissance fair. Many people dress up in garb from that time period as well as other fun outfits slash costumes. I was dressed as a wood elf. I went into this corset shop and was looking around. After a few minutes, a young man in typical run. Fair Clothing announced that if anyone needed to be sized for a corset, he would be happy to help. Me and three other women immediately said, oh yes. Me please. He had us make a line, and the woman behind me said, thank God you said something. I can't tell who works here and who doesn't. We all agreed and had a little laugh together. You're wearing scrubs, so you're a nurse. Hello all. First time posting here, and on mobile so forgive any formatting errors. So I work at a fairly large, fairly well-known cancer treatment center. You've probably seen commercials for this place. I am a scheduler, so I'm not clinical. But I do work in the clinic and often see patients after their appointments. So, I wear scrubs. Each team's scrubs here are color-coordinated so staff and patients know what team you're on, and it's a pretty good system. But outside of the center, they just look like everyday scrubs. You can probably see where this is going. I was grabbing some snacks for the office on lunch break at the grocery store the other day when I got a tap on my shoulder. I turned to see a lady with a fairly full bug G grinning at me. Let's call her Karen. Hey. Karen says. Can you take a look at this spot on my son's foot? It's really been bugging him, and it's super swollen, and I'm just worried about it. I am confused, of course, but she points at this huge ace bandage she has wrapped around her toddler's foot. 
It does look big but of course it is out of my range of expertise. So I explain hey I'm sorry. I'm not a nurse or clinical or anything. I'm a scheduler. She just continues to give me this condescending smile, but you're wearing scrubs. Yes ma'am I work in the clinic of this cancer center, but I'm a scheduler, not medical. You should take your son to a doctor or an urgent care if it's that bad. My easy and concise explanation went right over Karen's head. But you're wearing scrubs. Yes. But I'm not a nurse. I didn't know how else to reply because she just kept staring at me. So I repeated the thing about urgent care and went back to looking at chips. Karen was not happy. She blew up. Is this because of money? Can't you do something nice for a single mom? Aren't you supposed to help people? All you nurses and doctors care about is money. None of you give a damn about the patient and other screeching of the like. I snapped lady. I'm not a nurse. She continued her rant. Well you shouldn't wear scrubs then. That's fraud. That's impersonating a medical worker. That's a felony. I bet you just want the attention because of the pandemic. You need to. I just grabbed my chips and walked away. I swear as I did I could hear her stomp her foot like a child. Not super climactic, but absolutely mind-boggling. I can see the confusion, but I have no idea what this lady's logic was. Literally no medical professional is going to give a diagnosis in the grocery store unless it's an emergency. I hope the kid is okay either way though. He was very well behaved for a toddler who was probably in a good bit of discomfort. Anyway, thanks for reading and have a great day.